I am just kind of discovering that they are getting older and they might have to be the new middle day. I thought it was so fun to take the new middles and kind of just give them like a tween makeover and show them kind of all the fun things that happen when you go through the teenage year. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so we've got not enough Nelsons. I've actually been, I've been told several times, Amy, go watch this video. Amy, go watch this video. And I really wish I had had enough time to watch it before Tiffany decided to disable the comments. Now, could have this video just been made for kids? Yeah, sure, but it, it would tell you if that was the case. They were getting a bit of backlash, and I know they are, because I've been told about this video, and I went to have a little look on the Not Enough Nelson Snark Reddit thread, and oh my gosh, people really do have a lot, a lot, a lot of things to say about this video. Now, it, my own thoughts and feelings on Not Enough Nelsons, I think they're really problematic. I have done for quite a while. I've made several videos covering them. The last time I covered them was when Tiffany decided to sit her older, two of her um, adopted kids down and basically tell everyone that their biological mum had died. And it was extremely triggering, extremely... It, it, it was, wasn't was very nice to view. The kids looked ultra uncomfortable and sad and it had only really just happened. So it was, it was you were really showing... It, you could really see the girl's emotions and my knee-jerk reaction was I was I was annoyed by it she Tiffany definitely overshares she overshares way too much she overshared at one point about giving was it like a purity ring then basically taking their daughter aside and telling her about like the birds and the bees but deciding to do it on camera well this is kind of of the same nature in the fact that she's taking her middle children or her younger children who are going to be the middle children as she puts it the lit the littles the middles and the older ones taking them away giving them a makeover bearing in mind you I don't know the exact ages but I'm pretty sure the youngest one that is featured in this video is about nine taking them away giving them a makeover teaching them how to shave their legs on camera so it's not as if she's just giving a demonstration she's actually recording her kids shaving their legs she's taking them to get their lashes done she talks about she decides to talk about calories in a fairly informative way i'll i'll get i'll break the video down or i'll break the bits down that I feel is most important to talk about but um for them to actually disable the comments must mean that they were getting a fair amount of pushback queen makeover and show them kind of all the fun things that happen when you go through the teenage years we're gonna learn how to shave we're gonna take them to get a little bit of makeup and kind of learn how to apply that in kind of a natural pretty way we're gonna talk about nutrition a tiny bit and i have a special gift to give them at the end i have never done this before so i don't like advocate for it or anything but i have a cute friend who does like eyelash tinting and brow tinting and she had the fun idea while the older kids were gone i bring them middle and we do like a lash and brow party so we're we're gonna go do that and have a ton of fun and then I will come back here and I will tell the girls all of the fun stuff that we are gonna do today so let's get started with that here we go now do I think Tiffany is this nasty horrible malicious person mum to be wanting to you know show her show her kids who are getting a little bit older all the kind of fun stuff that you can do when you're older you know like putting on a bit of makeup and doing this and that no I don't think necessarily I mean when I was younger it was less so kind of like the tinting and the things but i don't think it's bad to want to share some slightly older things that you can do with your ch with your child nothing to do with that i think there was su such a big emphasis on the kind of beauty element of it of becoming a teenager and i can't help but feel like she is just putting way too much emphasis on well if you're getting older you have to do your eyelashes you have to do your you have to do your brows you have to choose makeup they actually go into an altar and they all pick out like skincare routines and stuff and i think that there is personally and this is just speaking from my own experience and you guys can come at me and you can be like well that's not the way i was but personally i just think that being a teenager is already quite stressful in terms of nowadays especially you've got social media you want to look a certain way you're worried that you don't look a certain way i feel like tiffany is putting way too much emphasis and it's me it's like a priority like you have to look a certain way you have to get this and that done what happens if her children don't want to look like that she's basically doing like a well you guys are going to be teenagers soon so this is what you're going to have to do 
Um, and that's just, I don't know, it makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable and maybe it's just because I wasn't really like that when I was a teenager and I know a fair amount of people that weren't like that either. Okay guys, we are back from our lash and brow party. What do you think about all these lashes and brows for Pete's sake? Holy cow, ah. Becky, look at those brows because they are gorgeous. So fun. And what's fun for that is during the summertime when you guys go swimming and do all these activities, you'll just have these beautiful lashes and brows and not ever have to do anything you know about it i'm jealous to be honest and this is my whole point she's saying when you guys go off you go swimming and it's summertime and you're playing like children do literally like children do you don't have to worry about your lashes and your brows it's like they weren't worrying about that anyway but you've now just put in something else for them to worry about do you see what i mean D does everyone see what I'm getting at? She she just said it herself when you guys are in swimming pools and you go to the... Don't have to worry about your brows and your lashes, guys. It's like they weren't worried about that anyway. Here at Ulta, each one of you take one of these baskets. This is how it's going to work. You guys get to choose three items, okay? So one of them needs to be for skincare, like hygiene and skincare. One of them can be for like a makeup product, like lips or cheek blush, something like that. And then the other thing is you need to go pick out your shaver and your like shaving cream. Okay. That's gonna be yours, okay? All right, here we go. The first thing we are gonna do is learn how to shave our legs. Okay guys, first of all, I'm gonna go to the basics. I know this one I've already shaved, but I'm gonna start at the basics so nobody gets hurt. So a shaver has little tiny like razor blades. Yeah. How sharp is a razor blade? A whole three item thing, it was like a bit of makeup, some skincare, and then a razor, right? I can understand, I can understand if your mum is trying to teach you how to shave your legs, because I've been there. My mum taught me how to shave my legs, I think when I was about 11, 10 or 11. But once again, it was in the privacy of my own home, without a camera there, without it being a stage production. Like, can you imagine your mum teaching you how to shave your legs? And you've got someone operating a camera, just pointing at you, shaving your legs. Now, obviously, I'm not going to show this because I don't like showing other people's kids on my channel. But she does. She does close-ups of the kids shaving their legs in the bath. And I'm just a bit like, look, look, this whole conversation could have been done completely privately. Why are we showing nine-year-olds shaving their legs in bathtubs? Why do we have to do this? Also, uh, maybe this is just me, but skincare. What nine-year-old needs skincare? What do you mean skincare? I'll have to like rewatch the video to see what they meant by that. But I'm pretty sure I watched one of the kids pick up like hyd I can't even say it. Hydraluronic acid, you know that uh like serum -y, uh facial washy cleansery stuff. I whatever. Okay, I'm just not I just feel like there's a lot of emphasis on the way that she's wanting like her kids to be her kids to look like which is you can tell tiffany is a very glamorous mum. all right she's one thing i'm not she is a glamorous mum, and she obviously takes a lot of pride in the way she looks and you can tell that and that's not necessarily a bad thing and it's also not necessarily a bad thing to teach your kids like you know hey like makeup's a thing and all of that but it's the way that it's the way that it's done it was just a huge emphasis on well you're nearly a teenager therefore you need to have all these beauty procedures you need to know how to do this um shaving legs is a completely different thing and i feel like that's just a really personal thing that you should just be taught in the privacy of your own home not put online i hope this isn't me coming across as a bitch okay because i'm really trying hard not to be a bitch about this but I, I think it's just very different. We have extremely differing opinions on what should be put on the internet and what shouldn't. Do you know what I mean? But I'm not throwing shade at anyone who, you know, wants to introduce their kids to makeup when they're like 10 or 11, like no shade, whatever. Like, you know, some, uh, I've got one of my elder kids loves playing with, um, you know, like, child, like children's makeup and things. That in itself isn't a bad thing. I don't want you guys to think that I'm saying that. I'm just saying that I think this is what Tiffany thinks makes a woman a woman kind of thing just having all of this like all the procedures done and going and get this and I just feel like there's a lot more to becoming a teenager becoming a woman whoever whatever than just beauty procedures the fact that she's just like willingly showing her nine-year-old and that just shaving their legs in the bath treating them as if they're older than they actually are for oh, for just weirdos to get hold of online I know there's that argument of well like 
Weirdos aren't watching them. Blah, 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 blah. I've seen some comments even on Not Enough Nelson's comment section with, with creepy people. They definitely exist. They do target these kind of channels. And unfortunately, Tiffany is just handing them out, handing it out on a golden platter. And it, it just winds me up, that's all. We are all shaved and smooth and smelling good. Smelling good. It's so fun to learn how to shave, huh? It's kind of like one of those rite of passages, it's like becoming a woman. Yeah. I would also just like to point out as well that not all women should or should be expected or do shave their legs. Okay, we don't all do it. Back of packages. Yeah. You will see these, these labels. Yeah. Right on yeah. the back of packages. Now let me tell you something. If it's something that doesn't have a package, most likely it is healthy. If it's like a fruit or a vegetable, does it come yeah. with a package? No, no. What we're talking about is these pre-packaged things and how to kind of be able to tell if something's not healthy or healthy. Because these are both in shiny, bright packages, right? Well, on the back, it tells you lots of things and these are the things that I want you to notice. Now, before we get onto this next bit, which is gonna be Tiffany teaching her kids kind of about nutrition, about you know the, the the whole calorie count of things about the fat content of things giving a very basic understanding of like reading labels and things i know that there's a lot of division over whether or not you should make kids become really quite obsessed and controlled on watching what they eat or really looking at the packaging because it will and can affect them later on they can become really really obsessed with checking labels i for one was exactly like this was in the fitness field for a little while i did a lot of nutrition working with other people so i do also understand that it is important to teach kids about what is good and what may not necessarily be the best for you to put inside your body but always trying to make sure that no food is labeled good or bad because you know, I feel like moderation is key to pretty much everything. That's always what I've done. That's always what I've encouraged my kids to do as well. Um, but I do feel that sort of combined with everything that Tiffany has sort of done in this video of being like, yes, and we're going to look this way. And oh, we've now got to watch what we eat and things could really cultivate. Is that the right word? It, it could really manifest something within within a person to try and always aim for looking a certain way and eating eating a certain way and you know you know all of this it could end up becoming a negative and that's just something that i've noticed i want you to notice the first of all the very first ingredient what is the very first ingredient corn, corn syrup and sugar sugar and corn syrup. okay so lots of corn syrup is is actually kind of a form of sugar yeah. and sugar, sugar. <laughs> right so whatever is in the very first few ingredients are what it's mostly sugar it doesn't take a lot and it doesn't, it's not great. It will get you calories. It will get you calories. You know, to completely level with Tiffany here, I feel like in a lot of ways, you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. If you don't teach your kids about the importance of nutrition and eating healthy, you know, they may grow up and they may take absolutely no interest whatsoever in eat, eating properly. You know, it's no lie that we do have, you know, a big epidemic of people nowadays who were not given a lot of nutrition lessons that they that they weren't they weren't taught very well and now those people are then passing on bad habits to their children etc etc i do think there is a much easier way of doing it rather than focusing on the content of food though specifically just looking at the packaging that is just my own personal opinion and I know that especially over on the Reddit thread as well people are really quite divided. I think if you hear a parent saying the word calories to their kids it kind of makes people go like oh no like oh we shouldn't be talking about this and I think in some ways we shouldn't but in other ways we should be teaching our kids the nutritional value within food. I, I do believe that. I am a strong believer of that without becoming too obsessive over calorie counting and exactly how many grams and what percentages are in everything. Because I don't think that really helps in the long run if you are a small child. The serving size, three pieces is 110 calories for 16 of these is 120 calories. And so calorie rise, they're about the same, but this will make you feel more full. It's yeah. better for your body and it'll give you more nutritious value. That's the, that's the thing that's hard, nutritious value. Also, I'm not really quite sure why she's waiting until they're almost teenagers just to lumber them with 
all of these different things that you've now got to keep track of, such as your hair, your beauty, your skincare routine, your calorie counting and things. Um, when in actual fact, if you were just teaching your kids when they were younger, just, you know, healthier alternatives, etc, etc, then I don't really know why you now have to do this like crash course on, well, now that you're nine kids, you now have to scour the back of every single packet in fear that you'll eat over your recommended daily allowance, you know, all of that kind of stuff. I feel like there's just so much stuff that has just been thrust on these kids in one video that I'm a little bit like... I, I don't get it. I really don't understand it. I don't understand what all of this means to be a teenager. Um, but maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Giving you guys these cute little necklaces. If you read the necklace, what does that say, Delaney? Go, go and be. Go and be. You guys are going to be teenagers very, very soon. And a lot of times the world tells you what you should be. They, they tell you what they think is pretty and what they think is smart and what they think is strong and all of these other things if you but isn't this whole video just that isn't this whole video just teaching your kids that you know if you get your eyebrows done and if you get your lashes done and if you do all these different things if you wear makeup if you have a good skincare routine if you count your calories and you do all of that that is what equals you know pre-womanhood that is what equals being a teenager and I get, I get the sentiment, I get what she's trying to say, but she can't, she can't say that, but then, but then in the same breath make this video, because that was very much just implying that this is what it is like to be prissy, this is what it's like to be a teenager, this is what it's like to fit in with everyone else. And I feel like she could have done so much better with this video, and given it much more of a diverse, you know, roundabout, she, she could have been a lot more diverse with this, she could have, really explored all the different ways it means to be a teenager not just focusing on the looks and the beauty and I get that it was just a teen makeover and it's not that deep okay I do honestly understand that but I also couldn't help but notice that some of her kids looked quite uncomfortable during the teen makeover segment which they did at the end okay I did notice it and I don't know what it is with this family they always give each other weird necklaces it's like hey and this 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 necklace symbolizes etc etc I know I sound a bit mean, but I swear so many of their videos, they end up just like, hey, I'm going to give you this ring. I'm going to give you this bracelet to symbolize. And I get that they have a young audience, but I just don't think it's entirely healthy to focus so much on what you look like, but it's more so about what you do and what you can do. Like she said, how strong you are, what your passions are, all of that kind of thing. That's just my own per that's just my own two cents and I would love to hear what everyone thinks about this video. Please have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world. Take care of each other, take care of yourselves and I'll catch up with you guys in the next video.